Today's video is another she did what now and in this episode I'm going to be working with this beautiful eyelet um, sheer fabric that I got from Savers. This fabric is actually a old shower curtain. Well I don't know if it's old shower curtain. It was a shower curtain you can see from the border and the place where you will put the hooks in. First thing I'm going to start off is by cutting away that border the running where you will put at the top of the shower curtain. Then I'm going to fold this in half the long way so that I could be able to cut the panels to make the, the front and back of my skirts. I'm going to use a skirt that I like the length of and I'm going to use that to measure. This one came out to about 25 inches so I'll just add an extra 2 inches and I think I made it um, 26 and a half inches um, with seam allowance. going ahead and mark that from the very top down to where I get 26 and a half inches and I'm going to cut away my first panel. This is the same method I used in my um, box pleated skirt with the cartoon bed sheet. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a second measurement again 26 and a half inches and I'm going to cut that away with the fabric still folded in half I'm going to mark that all along the width of the fabric. Once again and cutting at 26 and a half inches and I'm going to use it the remaining leftover of that fabric to make my waistband and pockets so to make our pleats we want to start marking at I'm gonna make these pleats smaller than I made my pleats from my um, cartoon Dick Tracy pleated skirt I'm gonna make these two inches wide so I'm gonna put my uh, ruler down at the where the border starts and that's gonna be the border is about one inch so one inch away from that border I'm gonna mark at two inches and I'm gonna keep marking it every two inches I should have used a darker color and I also should have zoomed in more so I do apologize once you have marked all the way down the length of your fabric you're going to take your needles and you're going to grab and you're going to pinch at that first mark at the second mark and pull it towards you at the first mark and then you're going to grab the second the next mark up and pull it away from you you're going to grab fabric pull it towards you pin grab fabric pull away from you pin and then by the second um pleat by the second time you do this you should be able to see your pleats form So I'm going to slow this down one more time so you can guys get a, a close look at it. So you're going to grab your fabric, pinch and pull towards you, making sure that you have your pleat, the previous pleat line up or maybe overlap the pleat that was there just a little bit so you can have your pleats close together. And if you need to pull and move around the fabric a little bit just so you can have a nice clean um, line, then that's okay. And then you're going to grab the next mark, the next two inches mark, and you're going to pull that away from you towards the next mark over it, which is another two inches. And again, you can see me here, I just gather the fabric all the way down the length of the pleats so that I could be able to lay it flat 
flush with that next mark. have made my pleats down both um, sides of the skirt both petals on my skirt I'm going to just do a basic stay stitch down the length of my skirt take your time you want to make sure that your fabric is laying as flat as possible you don't want to have your skirt bunching up against each other up, up against the needle and the foot you don't want to have unnecessary folds and pleats in your skirt your iron set on medium heat I am going to go ahead and press my pleats this is just to make sure that your your pleats are as crisp and flat as possible if you're going for a more easy breezy look you don't necessarily have to press your pleats but I like that crisp clean almost school uniform look So once we have uh, sewn both panels and once we have pressed our pleats, it's time to attach our skirt. But first I am going to cut out the fabric I need for my pockets. I decided after measuring out the length that I would need for my waistband, I saw that I had enough fabric, enough fabric left over to make pockets. I'm going to use this pocket pattern that I got from a pattern that I have been working on for the past few months with so much struggle. The struggle is real. And I'm going to use that to cut out um, the material, the, use it to cut out my pockets. And I just took the fabric, the remaining fabric from the last um, bottom level, and I folded that in half the long way and then folded it double the short way, just enough for me to get the four pieces for this pocket. And this pocket, again, is cut on a fold twice. Okay, once I've cut out my pockets, I am going to take and I am going to attach my pockets to the side seams of my skirt. You want to attach, I took a ruler and marked about three inches down from the top of the skirt on all four sides. And I took, I did a stay stitch attaching the pocket to the skirt before I started to pin the skirt and pockets together. And I'm sorry guys, you can't you guys cannot get a clear view of what I'm doing. That is one thing I hope to pray to come from with starting a Patreon page is be able to buy a camera by the tripod that can hang over so you get a bird's eye view of what I'm doing. After I attach after I pin the pockets and the sides together, I'm going to do a stay stitch down the the sides of the skirt going around the edges of the pockets, seaming and closing everything all together. No. I folded my skirt in half to find a middle and I'm going to mark that and cut it away because that is going to be where we're going to insert our zipper. I'm going back to that same piece of scrap fabric that I cut the pockets out of and I'm going to fold that a half again lengthwise taking some um, clips and some pins to hold that still and I am going to cut that in half again lengthwise. First I'm going to remove the extra trim so that border that come that was naturally around the, um, the fabric before I brought it I don't need that for the waistband. I'm going to cut that away. And then I'm going to take my scissors and while the fabric is still folded, I am going to cut down the length of the fabric, cutting the fabric in half, cutting this piece of fabric in half. 
and I'm going to use that to be my waistband. So I believe this was about maybe five and a half to six inches wide. And I'm going to sew those two panels together and then measure out how much I need. My waist is 46, so I end up measuring out about 47 and a half plus seam allowance because we will be inserting the zipper. So once I have cut out the once I have cut out my waistband, I'm going to attach that to the right side of the skirt. So edges matching up together, I'm going to attach it to the right side of the skirt. Do a basic stay stitch down the right side of the skirt on the front part of the skirt. And then once I have that down the front part of the skirt, I'm going to fold the fabric over and do a sew in the ditch which is what I'm showing now again I am partially out of frame I am so sorry guys we're gonna get these angles and these focus together in 2018 so anywho I folded the fabric over basically folding the half on the waistband and I'm going to do a standard ditch sewing at the seams and after that I sewed up the back and I left the edge of the skirt raw because I like that clean unfinished look it gave a more light flowiness to it versus when I would actually hem the skirt and this is the finished look guys I hope you like it this is very easy so fun so cute I love the pastel yellow and I paired it with a white knit skirt that, that white knit fabric that I had in my last haul as well as with this blue um, chambray button up top that has like this crochet um, cut out on the this white crochet cut out along the yoke of the top and with my white crochet shoes that I got from um, a, the thrift store this was so cute so fun I just wish the weather signified the way I was feeling but this is so fun and bright flirty so cute perfect for like lunch or going to like a day party I'm so in love with this skirt and I really hope you enjoyed it guys thank you so much for watching guys I love you so so very much but most importantly always remember to love yourself fully until next time